idea of having a near perfect country out of a ruptured Nigeria is illusionary. The composite parts of the country each contributes to the miasma of confusion that Nigeria is that Nigeria is, I beg your pardon. No single entity is responsible for Nigerians' problem. All the ethnic nationalities are equal shareholders in the failing of the Nigerian enterprise. There is enough blame to go around. Splintering the entity has often been exalted as the remedy to Nigerians' problems. But this is a defective reasoning because in this stance, Nigeria is defined by its geography and not its people. Nigeria is its people. It is the same people that will occupy the emergent states, not angels. There is no paradise anywhere. The problem with Nigeria is a people problem. Recalibrating the map will not change anything. If the minds of the people do not conform to progressive values. The assumption that there will be divine concordance if Nigeria breaks up according to regional lines is obtuse. That a people speak a common language does not put a stamp of camaraderie on group relationship. In the Southeast, for instance, there is native discrimination among people of the same region. Some are regarded as impure Igbo breeds, while others consider themselves as true Igbo Sions. There are areas sons of certain states are advised not to tread in search of love. Also, it is quotidian among the Igbo to describe people from certain areas in a boy with the pejorative of Wawa impure breeds. And there is a deep gulf among classes of the social ladder in the region. So, what will change if, for example, there is a Southeast state, as some are campaigning for? Will the present social order be inverted? Will the internecine hate and the wrangling dispute and the wrangling disputes dissipate? Sorry, will the intersane hate and wrangling dissipate? Well. For sure, I think the current revulsion that some have for the entity Nigeria will be reserved for the emergent states. Elite corruption and abuse will still dominate the polity because the new order will be from the same predatory gene pool. Non-ethnic predation will give way for ethnic predation. Because at the end of the day, class struggle is not resolved by the unity of language, religion, or culture. There is a classical example of country in Africa, in Africa steeped in economic and civil crisis after breaking away from the motherboard. The case of oil-rich South Sudan rings a familiar bell. Today, South Sudan is one of the poorest countries on the surface of the earth. Despite its oil wealth, all the hoopla and gyrations that followed the country's severance from Sudan soon gave way for tears, sorrow, and blood. As of 2019, 400,000 citizens have been killed in the South Sudan crisis. Four million refugees created and 1.8 people internally displaced. The cause of these tragedies boils down to power struggle among the elites, 
who quickly mobilized themselves behind the emergent state to capture power. A country fabled to be a lord star in Africa and which was to be a compelling argument for splintering artificially created states on the continent is now a functional example of why breaking up countries in Africa is not expedient. An often paroted argument for Nigerians' dissolution is that the country is an inorganic fabrication of the British. True, but so many countries on the planet, yet they are thriving. But so are many countries on the planet, yet they are thriving and working according to a common purpose. Most countries in the world were created by accidents of history. It is nearly impossible to find a homogeneous country. The problem with Nigeria, as we all know, is that we are yet to have a people's leadership or, as Chinua Achebe puts it, a leader humbled by the trust placed on him by the people and willing to use the power given to him for the good of the people. We are stronger together. This is not a platitude, but a fact. 90% of the Igbo is not warehoused in the Southeast. The Igbo are a peripatetic people gifted with extraordinary entrepreneurial abilities. They are among the most financially fortunate Nigerians. Nigeria and beyond are their trading arcade. They are in every nook, cranny, and crevices in the country. It is unarguable that a united Nigeria is a more viable emporium for the Igbo than a fragmented Nigeria. It will not be the same for the business-minded Igbo with new states emerging from the wreck of Nigeria. The emergent states will certainly want to put up hedges that will protect their own people against outsiders. Where does that leave Chukuma, who has billions of naira worth of investments, dotting the north and the southwest? The same theory applies to the north of which economy thrives on agriculture. Nigeria, with its bubbling population, is a consumer paradise for the agricultural produce of the north. In addition, there are bountiful benefits for the north from Nigerians' oil wealth. The southwest, as we cannot subsist as an island. The southwest, as well, cannot subsist as an island. I beg your pardon. It needs the commerce of the Igbo, the endowments of the north, the rich cultural and material resources of other groups to blossom. So we need each other. Our diversity should count for something. It should be our strength. We will be the biggest losers if Nigerian enterprise, if the Nigerian enterprise is liquidated. So therefore, we must make Nigeria work. All right, guys. This is what Frederick Mwabufo has said concerning the state of things and uh, the desire, the agitation of the breaking up of Nigeria, saying that the Southeast, the Southwest, and the North will be the biggest losers if Nigeria breaks up. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this opinion of Frederick Mwabufo? Well, do you agree with him? But well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.